into the grey mouse company The finest colony on the rim We've heard rumours about your bravery Let's hope you live up to them The prisoner we have assigned to you Is certainly one of a kind And you must escort them to the extraction Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to RimWorld. Welcome back to the Grey Mouse Company and uh, the Toxicity Field Wasteland. Welcome back, boys. What is going on over here? Why is our rice not planted? That is a good question. Go plant the rice, boys. Go indeed plant the rice. Everybody can work on it these days. So stop being in bed and go work on it. Mute you too. Stevie, you're in bed. All right, well. Oh, great, we got incompetent cooks, huh? I think that's probably not incompetent cook, it's just uh, the fact that we have butchering in here as well. I think it's more that than anything else. Fiener is no longer having tantrum, which is a good thing, but. Oh boy. Uh, that's something we should be installing somewhere as well. Put it in there. Uh, let's go with some more updates, shall we? Because uh, we did have an update from uh, Throngni once again. So let's read up, boys. Being taken to the church for a town meeting, the priest leads the people in prayer, then hands off the stage to Yashra, the woman who I handed the star to. She was the daughter of the former sheriff. She tells the tale of the town, a long history of hard work on a hard world, and the resilience of a proud and amazing people. Then they get to the bandits, a small group of pirates who arrived recently. At first they pretended to be traders and requested some supplies. The caravan that went to deliver the trade goods did not return. The pirates came back angry that they were tricked and went without their goods. Apologies were made and some supplies given in compensation. Then after they had left, the sheriff walked back into town bloody and exhausted. He told them who had attacked them, it was the pirates. He immediately gathered up some fighting men and women, stopped only by the town doctor by a solid punch to the jaw. Eat, sleep, and heal, he said as the punch landed. The sheriff, now unconscious, was taken to the sick house. His wounds tended to, and when he awoke, the stern face of Michel the doctor was looking at him. He was holding a bowl of beans and some bread. Eat, the doctor. The doctor is a man of few words, though, quite eloquent when he needs to be. Oh. We're gonna keep it pause for a second. Again, gathering the fighting townspeople, he set off for the pirates. He found them, sitting around a campfire outside of a building made by the supplies that they stole. Immediately attacking them in rage, a firefight broke out, but with surprise and superior positioning, the pirates were quickly routed. Picking over the bodies and arresting the ones still alive, they noticed far more beds than people, and a map with a town circled. Let's get this scum back to town, the dogs got some work to do. Both the pirates and some townspeople were injured. When he arrived back to town, just as the sun was rising, his daughter rushed out. What's going on? She said. War, was the reply. War indeed, and we have infested ship chunks, which uh, does not make me happy. Not in the slightest. Six of them. It's not the worst. It is not the worst. Stevie, what the hell is on your head? What the fuck? Why are you wearing that? I'm pretty freaking sure we gotta have something better. Goblin leather armor. Goblin leathers. Okay, Lucy, pick up your gun. We're gonna need it. Or you're gonna need it. Equip that. Equip that. Let's go, boys. Alright. How many? Plenty. Well. Do they get... Did they get poisoned? I don't know. Alas, it doesn't really matter. It is time for war, my friends. It is indeed time for war. Um, Fiener, can you operate this for me? That is really not what we wanted right now. God damn it. Get in there. 
Um, Kajuki, are you gonna go fix him up? Yeah, I think so. Actually, no, Throngni is gonna do it. Throngni, get in here. Tent. Good. Okay. Do you know who to fire at? You don't. We need to deal with these guys right now. Ooh, lost. You were close. You also missed, Fiener. Okay, that is the thing we want. Throngni! No! Food poisoning, bad. Your manipulation is gonna be crap now. But still good enough. Alright, let's get your ass over here. Ooh, they destroyed them pretty fast. And now they are coming. Alright, I think we should be able to deal with this horde. Although, the way we have positioned ourselves... Ourselves, this isn't going to be good. Because we're going to be destroying our own stuff over here pretty, pretty soon. Now, the thing is, we don't need uh, we don't need cover. We do not need cover from this. They are coming. Go, boys. Let's get you closer. We should be able to destroy them pretty easily. Pretty easily. There's more of them coming. Stop that. <laughs> they killed it. Alright, boys. Um, this is, again, the same thing as with... Uh, those goblins. We need it. You know? Lucy, stay in here. We need the food. I know, I know. It is not the best. But... Uh, it is better... Than humans. So, butcher creature... Up top, forever, and uh, let's clear all of you and then go insect corpses. Right, um, it's a tank, it's a mega scarab. No, it's gonna be insects, right? God damn it. Uh, there he is. There's the insects. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, this is for insect, insect corpses as well. Good. Fix that. Bring them in. Bring these guys in. I don't know if these mechanites are going to attack us or not. We'll see, I guess. Finish off the spellopedes. Bring them in. There you go, Kajuki. Finish off those spooters. And bring the boys in. Anybody else needs finishing off? I don't think so. That one does. Throngni is gonna do it. Bring them in before they get completely spoiled. Throngni, you are taking a while to eat that thing. Thank you. Bring them in. Bring them in, boys, before they rot. And we need to destroy this, right. Throngni, once again, I have returned to call for your aid. For you are the fastest amongst people. And you're not even people. You are whatever you are. Okay, I'm forbid all of these. Grab all that insect jelly. Bring it in. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Alright. I know insect corpse is not good either. But it's gonna be better than not having any food. How's their glow tools? Very slow on the growing part. Very, very slow. We need more growers, boys. Just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, that, these guys are indeed rotting now. I guess we can put the insect corpses in here, actually. Because there's not that many. Yeah, let's put the insect corpses in there. And let's not put the insect corpses over here. That's actually better. Should have done that early on. Because there's not that many as human corpses. Mute is dazed because he's seen a rotten corpse. Mute, goddammit, you are 
uh, a geth. You really should not have issues with that. Do you stop looking at corpses, please? There's just a couple of them over there, okay? Okay, uh, fine. We don't have any... Any stones. Which is something we could work on. Yeah, we could easily work on something over here. Uh, where's that thing? Stone cutter's table. Just make it out of uh, steel for now. And sure. Start working in, on it in this hallway. And then we can burn all the rotting corpses. Easier than burying them, truth be told. Okay. Yeah, they're bringing them in. Good. Courtney and Fina are getting healed. Stevie's getting healed. Stevie, you look ridiculous, buddy. Just letting you know, but, you know, more power to you, buddy. Beautiful. Pretty. Brilliant. Brilliant. These things are still out there. Oh, my asshole. This is not going to be good. Not in the slightest. Okay, can we build any defenses? We should be able to. Mostly steel, which is flammable. And we know that these things can usually bring a flammable punch with them. Not exactly amazing, but let's do it. Let's do this, boys. Something like this. Something like this, indeed. Should be. Should be it. Okay, let's do that. And give me some steel embrasures. In between. Definitely not there, though. Okay, build that. Build that, boys. Tyrus, would you please stop? Appreciate that. God damn it! Would you... Would you stop being obnoxious? And screwing up with this stuff. How can you be ravenously fucking hungry if there's food over here? Are you kidding me right now? God damn it. And that guy also has a sword. Crying out loud. See if you can beat him up. Don't let them slaughter anybody. Thank you. God damn it. Oh, right now, shit is going up. Hey, Throngny, what you doing, buddy? Some cutter stable. Shit is just... Shit is just shit right now! No, I want to repair this. Work on the goddamn power conduit. We need the power over here. Shack Kingdom passing by? Maybe you can use them. Potentially make this. Ugh. Noxious, where's the travelers? Nah, just a couple down here. Don't need that. Addison is back up. Advanced hydroponics, I don't think we can use that quite yet, but it would be a very useful thing to have. Truly. Truly. Would you stop being pieces of shit, please? That's all I ask. Stop it. I know there's that thing over there that you don't like, but come on. Okay. We gotta fight now. We gotta fight. Just the way it is. Whoever can fight will fight. How are you doing? Frail man. Major infection, 78 immunity. Your major infection is a 36. You'll be do. You'll do. Courtney, get over there. Fiener. You stay back here. Lucy, get there. Lost is lost. Uh, okay, you know what? We need to wait for these guys to get back. Stevie? You're just insulting Lost. Okay. A broken man. You're insulting a broken man. Nobody's working as you. Fine. Um, 
Do we have anybody that uh, will craft right now? Addison, I guess. Lucy when he's not cooking. So basically, nobody. Peggy, but these guys have uh, important jobs over here, unfortunately. Though they're growing. But let's get Peggy on some uh, crafting. Some rice is coming in, so <clears throat> we can use that. There you go, Peggy's gonna start making us some chunks. Stevie no longer insulting, good. I just need Laws back and uh, Raleen, and then we we fly. Mute, wouldn't mind mute as well. God damn it. Beat him up. Right now. Throngly run before he can get off the goddamn map. Good thing he's going in this direction, though. Yeah, you know, or just kill him. That makes sense. That does make sense. Thank you, Throngly. You destroyed his head. Makes sense, dude. Thanks. Really do appreciate that. Thank you, Throngni. Eat his meal now. Awesome. That's that's really smart. Really, really smart. Thank you. Appreciate that. Throngni. You are... I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Besides that... What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Peanut, don't mind it. Okay, now go build the sarcophagus over here. And you'll go bury the man. Bury the guy. Thank you. <sighs> Motor trucker. Okay, how many of these we need? Production... 50. We'll get there. We'll get there. Stop puking on the ground. Lost and running, we need you. Mute, we need you. It is of utmost importance that you guys stop being a pain in the ass and wake up. Oh, let's go, boys. We got snails. Nom, 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 nom. Get the snails, boys. Get the snails. Lucy's cooking. What an absolute madman. Let's get the snails. Butcher the snails. Make some food. Make some noise. This is uh, quite the episode. <laughs> okay, Peggy, one more. Just one more and we are good. Let's go. Let's go. Just put it over here. Right there, boys. Right there. Thong new work on it. You don't need healing. You don't need healing, son. Work on it. You're fine. We are burning all of these corpses. You see, when I tell you to work on it, I don't mean just work on it halfway and then go heal, fake heal. I mean you go work on it. Really doesn't help that we have food poisoning, by the way. Okay, Raleen is no longer wandering. Go eat something, please. What are you, what are you doing? Go eat that meal. Get more food poisoning. Psychic drone is still low, so that is still... Okay, ish. Okay, she ate. Good. Cremate corpses. Do forever. Humanized corpses. Yes. Don't do. Uh, don't do colonists. And yeah, don't do animals. And then cremate corpse. Do forever. Um, animal corpses that are rotten. Thank you. Do those things. Okay, we're getting some insect meat now. Sweet. Lost, we need you. Let's go. Pristine ruins. That actually might be a good thing for us. That actually might be a good thing for us. Because that thing could have a lot of uh, food. If you just sneak in there for some food gains, that'd be good. How you guys... You don't have any... Right, lost your skelly, aren't you? Yeah. Right, never mind. 
Mute is also back. Okay, I think it's time, boys. Get your uh, asses over here. Feener, man that thing. Shoot this thing. I don't know if this would actually do damage. But if you can get some of those things out there, yeah, like that. And then trigger it. I think that would be good. Let's position. Uh, you're actually going to be running out there. So this is fine. Let's get you out there, boys. Let's get you out there. Sounds like a good idea. Come over here, fast man. Run back here, fast man. Oh, Toxic Fallout is gone, boys. Oh, let's go. Alright. You. Keep on shooting over here. Let's get it going. Okay. These guys are coming around. Lost pop over here. Don't kill Addison, please. Very much appreciate it. Okay. How many of you have the fire cannons? I don't think anybody does. No, they don't. That one is nasty. But we can get him out. Okay, lost pop up back here. Courtney is getting smacked. Courtney, you're pulling back. How are they outranging you? Oh, crap. We're gonna have to do this. Go here. Go here. That should do. Okay. Fiener, stop it. Yeah, go research. Addison, how are you feeling? Not that peachy. Uh, yes, go in there. Courtney, you go in there. Sweet. Fiener's gonna take care of you. These little things are a great distraction. I don't think anybody can reach that bad boy, though. No. Throngny. Lucy. Mute. Lost. Go, oh, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Whew. Okay. Throngny up here. I'm forbid all of these things. Destroy that shit. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's go. Crisis averted. Slightly. And there is no more crappy stuff going on. We can start planting normally. Okay. All of these plant growing lights. Turn off. All of the roof. Get rid of. Get rid of the roof on the growing zones. I know they look pretty. It's no longer needed. Okay. Okay. Okay, boys, let's uh, let's slow it down for a second. I need to go. Uh, I need to go read something. How about that? Let's find uh, Kajuki again. We haven't read Kajuki in a while. Actually, we probably did, but that's okay. There, I see. There's an update from Kajuki. It's a big update. This is fifth entry, six weeks after the incident. Personal log from. Kajuki. We're almost there. Just a couple hours till we arrive at the trading post that orbits the planet. The whole journey didn't go as smooth as I planned. In fact, halfway through, the ship was hijacked by androids. I was getting myself something to eat from the kitchen, which I found out was connected to the cargo bay I hid myself in, to the ventilation system. As I returned, I noticed movement around a multitude of cargo crates. I counted about 30 androids, most of them being Mark III and one Mark V all armed to the brim with charged weaponry. It didn't take long till the first shots fell and the alarm went off. 
As expected, the androids left the cargo bay to take over the bridge and the engine room, all but the Mark V and five others. These six gathered around a giant pod, and after the Mark V android entered a code, the terminal, the pod opened and activated a M7 mechanoid. Knowing that without the crew, I wouldn't be able to reach my target, I had to prevent the androids from taking over the ship. Armed with a plasteel knife and an MRG-5 pistol, I made my way back into the ventilation system to reach the bridge. I dropped out the ceiling went right into the middle of the firefight. The bridge crew being a bit confused about a stranger dropping from the ceiling, at first wanted to shoot me, but ditched the idea after I blasted two android heads clean off. The other androids retreated after five more were taken out, leaving us as the victors for the moment. Naturally, the captain wanted to know who the hell I was and how I got onto his ship. Since Lime wouldn't have helped me in the situation, I decided to tell him my story, leaving out the part where our where I deserted from Hatakonoa. After listening to my story, he offered me a deal. I helped him take back his ship and he won't blast me out the next airlock. Since we had no idea where the, exactly the androids were, I offered to modify the ship's internal sensors to also pick up the battery signature of the androids. Doing that was easier than I thought, since I masked my own signal with a signal scrambler. I built myself. Now being able to locate the androids, we saw most of them return to the cargo bay, leaving only a few in the engine room. We decided to open the cargo bay, sucking all androids including the M7 unit, as well as most of the cargo stored there into the cold emptiness of space. The last objective was to clear the engine room. While the remaining crew members were assaulting the engine room directly, I would sneak in through the vents and take them out from behind. The five androids guarding the entrance were quickly disposed of by the crew, leaving only one left alive. As he was trying to cause the reactor core to explode, I stabbed him repeatedly, each stab more powerful, more hateful than the one before, leaving only beats and pieces of metal. After the repairs were finished, we finally continued our journey, and now it's time to get some rest. Tomorrow, I hopefully will we'll be crossing a desert. Entry end. Wow, Kajuki, you you had some you had some fun, didn't you? In your <laughs> worlds before. Ah, <sighs> are we creating all the human-like corpses over here? I should definitely do this so people cremate all of these because they might not be cremating them. How are we doing on food? We have 25, 26 meals. Getting some more rice in, which is good. Are we butchering snails over here? Yes, we should be. That should be under fish corpses. Okay, do, are we gonna have a moment of respite? I certainly hope so. These mechanoids are also very valuable, so we should... We should, I don't know, do something with them. Uh, for that, we're gonna need a machining table, but then we can't really bring it with us. Or bring any plastic with us if we turn it into something else. Mm, this place also needs an upgrade. A machining table and kitchen? Sounds like a good idea. Okay, Manhunter pack might not be the worst thing. Wargs. That is a lot of meat. And I believe in us that we have the firepower to take them out before they take us out. Run. Courtney, not now! God damn it, Courtney! God damn it, Edison. No, Edison, you have... You have that thing, it can't be you. Mute. Incapable of melee attack? What? Okay, Peggy. Please attack Courtney. Stevie, come help. Mute, you come over here, buddy. Fiener. Go fight Courtney. Okay, white, you, you're doing fine over there, aren't you? A lot of them are on the back side. We need to adjust our positioning. Okay, Courtney is down. Peggy, onwards. Not a simple meal. Why would I be clicking on simple meal? Uh, tell me. Stevie, that way. Fiener. Rescue Courtney, go heal them. Easy mode, boys. Easy mode. Fiener. Tent, please. 
We think it's all bruises. Okay, there's one more over there, I think. That's the last one, isn't it? Two more. Boys. Ladies and gentlemen. We got them. Bring them in. Butcher those, boys. Finish them off. I don't care who does it. Finish them all off. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Butchering. Make some meal. Mute is butchering stuff. Okay, I need you guys all on this. And definitely, definitely, please start putting animal corpses in here. I need that. Not over there. In there. Definitely not over here. In the freezer. Put him in. I lost. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah? Not well, huh? Fiener, can you... Did he just die? He just died. Okay. Can you finish off? Yeah, you can. What an absolute madman. These two, please, bring them urgently. That one as well. Let's go. Meat. Meat's back on the menu. Please don't have rotten shit in here. Why would you do that? God dang it. Throngly, aren't you just bruised? You're just mostly bruised. Start doing this for me, man. Just cremate all this crap. You're the fastest. You can do it. There you go. Get rid of this stuff so people stop complaining about corpses everywhere. Those two and you should be done, right? Oh, there's one more. Done? Done. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Okay. There you go. Lucy Butcher, Mute Cook. That is that is exactly what we want to see. Whew. Okay. We're going to get some turrets, boys. We're going to get some turrets. Courtney is back in the world of the living. Actually, let's not go for this. I need... This. Stair materials. Work or not. Thank you, Raleen. Clean that up. There you go. The roofs are gonna be taken out soon. Peggy had a bandit scarf. Well, what's wrong with you, Peggy? How many of these we have left? 18. It's okay. It's okay. Courtney got infected in her leg. Um, Throngny? Putting insect jelly to her. Tending to Courtney. That's... A I appreciate that. Should be a good treat. Should be fine. Should be fine. Alright. Alright, boys. Alright. Um, we still have a chance to do this. <laughs> uh, and uh, the horrible stuff hasn't even begun yet. We haven't even made it to our final, final place. In any case, for now... Thank you everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys next time. Go crowd.